Quantum mechanics is a theory of subatomic particles, and that's it. Yes, quantum physics is weird. Quantum physics features a wave particle duality, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, this concept of entanglement and non locality. Quantum mechanics is super weird. Our description, our mathematical physics description of the subatomic world comes up with some incredibly non intuitive, hard to understand concepts. And it's all baked into the math. We can make predictions. Is one of the most well tested theories in all of human history. Uh, so we're able to agree with the experiment. We know we're doing something right, but what we're doing doesn't make any sense to us because the classical world and our evolution in the classical world, in the macroscopic world, didn't prepare us for how the subatomic world actually operates. But just because the subatomic world is weird, and complex and non intuitive, it doesn't mean that all bets are off. The lessons of subatomic physics don't necessarily apply to the macroscopic world. So, if two electrons have, uh, are, can be entangled and they can influence each other over vast distances uh, faster than the speed of light, and this breaks our conceptions of what it means to be separate and local, that's fine. It doesn't mean that you and me are entangled, that I can influence you faster than the speed of light. It doesn't mean that that is off the table. If I put an electron in a box, I can look away and then I look again and the electron can just decide to be on the other side of the box the next time I look. And that's weird. That breaks our conceptions of, of like logic of how boxes work. But if you put me in a room, and turn away. You can't expect me to randomly be on the outside of the room just because I feel like it. The rules that apply to subatomic particles don't necessarily apply to the macroscopic world. And so I see the word quantum appear in so many places where it shouldn't. And if you ever see the word quantum apply to anything other than a theory of subatomic particles, you need to run, not walk away. So if you see quantum, just the word quantum appearing in any context that has nothing to do with the physics of subatomic particles, which is what it is, you can just ignore whatever that person is saying. If you see it in a, in a, a marketing line or appearing in a phrase with a trademark, at the end of it, a new hair growth formula, a quantized uh, enzymes can, you know. okay, you're just gonna get burned. Okay, it's not gonna work. Quantum has nothing to do with it. If you see anything about like quantum healing, energy, vortice, crystal things, it's not gonna work. Listen, quantum, the rules of quantum mechanics are beyond weird and beyond strange and beyond non intuitive, but that doesn't give you permission to use what we know in quantum physics and apply it wherever you feel like it. Because quantum physics has a very specific domain. It is the domain of the subatomic world. And in fact, we have rules for connecting the quantum physics of the subatomic world to the classical physics of the macroscopic world. In this rule, we call it the correspondence principle. It tells us how to move from the quantum physics to the classical physics. It tells us how to go from electrons behaving uh, quantum mechanically with wave particle duality and uncertainty and fuzziness and probability. And then when you get a whole bunch of electrons and other particles together to make a baseball, you know exactly where that baseball is going to go and all the quantum stuff washes away. The uncertainty goes away. The fuzzy probabilities go away. The uh, entanglement goes away. You just have a baseball. The correspondence principle is, a, is a, a way for physicists to connect the quantum world to the classical world. Now, this boundary is fuzzy. This boundary is fuzzy. Uh, we don't know exactly where the quantum world gives way to the classical world. We don't know exactly where the quantum rules of uh, the physics of quantum mechanics dissolves or averages out into the classical world. 
where there's this an active area of research of finding exactly that boundary or that transition and we know on one end we have quantum physics over here and classical physics over here the stuff in the middle of that transition place is a is an area of active research of, of how we're trying to find how, exactly how quantum mechanics links up with classical physics but even though that's an active area of research it doesn't mean that the link doesn't exist and that these worlds aren't separate where you have quantum physics in the subatomic world and classical physics in the macroscopic world. So when you hear about quantum physics, if you read about quantum physics, if you start learning about quantum physics and it starts getting complicated and confusing and you start seeing quantum, the word quantum appearing in places where it shouldn't, just relax and know that this is just a theory of subatomic physics. Thank you so much for watching. Go to patreon.com slash pmsutter, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.